Hi, I'm Ted Batt, Director of the Visual Arts Program at the Academy Center of the Arts, which includes the galleries and the pottery studio, which we are in now. It is the May Carter Pottery Studio. This is going to make me sound really old, but my first pot I threw in 1975. I was a junior in high school. So I've been throwing, I didn't pick it up again until 14 years later, but I've been throwing for about 30 years. And I moved here to Lynchburg in 2004, and one of the first things I did was take pottery class at the academy. And flash forward, you know, 14 years, and now I'm the director of the studio. So I love it. Uh, clay is my passion, and I love sharing it with other people. So we have 10 wheels. You can see all the wheels here. And go around the room and show you the wheels. All these shelves are student, shelf, student work. Let's see, And then we have one stand-up wheel for people who have back trouble. So you can stand and throw if you want to throw, if you have a back problem. And these are the carts that we put work on. This is called Greenware, which is raw clay. It's been thrown or hand-built. And then the next uh, cart is it's been fired once, so it's hard. And then the third cart is you take the bisqueware and put glaze on it, and that is the glaze cart. And then we're gonna go in. We're actually firing a gas kiln right now, so you'll be able to see it. So I have two electric kilns, and I have the gas kiln, which is a cone 10 gas kiln. I'm going to open up the port here, it's the spy hole. Don't get too close because the flame will shoot out, but it's currently firing. It's at about 1900 degrees. You see over here the temperature. 1925. Come on back here and you can see where the flame is shooting into the kiln. We've also recently built a Raku kiln, which we haven't used yet, but that is a quick firing, very different technique than the gas kiln. We also have hand building tables. We've got three of these. So if you're not into wheel throwing, you can work on these tables covered with canvas. And then this is a table we always use, also use for glazing. It's got plastic on it because the glazes are in buckets here. You can see you stir them up, and you put a pot in them, and then you stick it on the table and wipe the bottom off. Finished products here. Uh, we have all the tools. Students don't need to have any tool, tools. We have provide all the tools here. Um, and then we have a couple of other tools that are helpful. Extruder right here. Extrude shapes, like circles and squares. A larger version of that right here. Then you're a captain of a ship, turning. <laughs> and then back here, Woody, we have a slab roller, which if you work in big slabs. And then lastly, we don't throw any clay away. You can see we got these big buckets of clay right here. Student work that's been tossed or scraps. And we have a pug mill. So all the raw clay goes in here, gets mixed out, comes out, and it's reused. So very earth friendly studio. Well, first let me tell you what's going on with COVID. We are selling out of all our classes. We have a limit of 10 because we have to keep safe distance between all the students and they have to wear a mask and get their temperature taken. But um, my next session of classes starts next week and Monday, Tuesday, Thursday night are already sold out. Wednesday is getting there. Uh, I have a young potter's class that has 10 in it sold out. A kids clay works. We have a pottery night out this Friday that's sold out. So it's cranking. Um, but uh, academycenter.org education is where you'd find our classes and they are typically eight week sessions so we're starting next week so um, the next session would start in mid-may if you've missed this session um, we are involved with uh, a couple of nonprofits in the community including lynchburg um, daily bread and you can see i've got some bowls over here that i've started making that's going to be in august of this year but we get the potters 
going early to get those bowls done. We are on our 14th year, maybe 13th or 14th year with our Empty Bowls project. And it again, it benefits the Lynchburg Daily Bread. Um, we typically have about 500 bowls that local potters in this facility as well as in the community donate to the Academy. And then we have restaurants that donate soup and you buy a ticket for $25 or $30, you get a bowl of soup, uh, bread, dessert, and you get to take the bowl home with you. And pretty much all the proceeds, not all, but most of the proceeds go back to the Daily Bread. The last couple of years, we've given checks of over $10,000 from this event. So usually it's in March, but um, COVID has kind of co-opted our plans. So we are doing it in August this year.